Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today we're going to show you how to draw the Italian hand gesture uh, pose and we're going to draw the emoji of it. So follow along, grab your pencils and let's get drawing. The first thing you need to do is just draw the outline of the hand. And by the way, if you don't know this gesture, it's something like this. Kind of put your fingers together and say, what the heck? Kind of like that. And if you're looking from above, it might look weird. So from the side, uh, maybe kind of be like that. But you don't you don't hold your hand this way, you actually hold it um, upwards, so the fingers are pointing up. Let's draw it, and I'll explain more as I go along. So, the first thing you need to do is just be aware of the outline of the thumb. The thumb is kind of the base of this hand gesture, it kind of anchors everything, okay? So you have your thumb. Um, the thumb also is the anchor point because all the other fingers would kind of go towards it. So, you have to draw the thumb and understand that uh, the other fingers will be over here. Um, let's Before we draw the other fingers, let's draw the base of the hand. And again, we're not gonna draw the wrist and some of the realistic features because this is actually an emoji, but follow along and you'll see what I mean. So this might be a little wider down here. Okay. So what you wanna do is you have your index finger um, coming this way. Okay, so your index finger is somewhat of a position like that. And the other fingers are basically hidden behind. So index, middle, so middle, um, the ring finger is follows that. So the ring finger would probably sit around here. Okay, so there's the top of the um, the ring finger, this is an opening, basically an opening over here, not quite as straight like that, so let's just fix that, kind of more like, like that. And this has a bit too much of an angle, so let's fix that as well. The other thing you need to note is that that middle finger that's sitting behind there also um, should really have the tip of the finger showing over here as well. So just the tip, okay? You kind of have your fingers like that in some somewhat of a position, okay? It's really not as complicated as you might think, so don't worry too much about it. Um, again, your thumb, your uh, index, middle, ring. The pinky is back there. I think it's a bit hidden in the emoji. I'm actually just going to draw it anyway, um, just over here. And of course, the pinky will kind of sit behind uh, over there. But let's not draw that because the thumb is actually going to be in front. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to touch up some of these lines and kind of put it together. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll just follow the outline over here and just kind of enhance some of the lines here. You can see already it looks a lot more put together as soon as you get some of these clearer outlines there. And there's nothing wrong with even just erasing some of those lines that go off track. So nothing wrong with that either. Um, we'll touch up the, the middle finger that sticks out at the top. Okay, and I'll clean that up just a touch. Remember that the index finger is in front of the middle finger. fact, there is something I want to clean up here. This is too low. This is far, that was far too low. I think the finger should really sit more over here. I think that actually looks a lot, lot better. And in fact, I want to clean this up as well. So in doing so, I might erase this as well. What I'm doing is just enhancing the space over here and, um, and shortening some of the, the distances on the fingers as well. So, Just 
starting to look a little bit better. Let's just clean up some of the finger positioning here. There, there we go. Obviously the, um, the middle finger is usually the longest, so that's gonna stick out the most. Uh, the index is typically there, and your pinky is hidden at the back, remember that, so. Put the knuckles on, I don't think it's usually in the emoji uh, per se, but I think it's, uh, needless to say, it does kind of show nicely. What I'll do is I'll finish up with some shading. I'll grab the, uh, the 7B and just kind of put in a little bit of light shading just to give it some, the slightest, slightest, slightest 3D effect. Um, I don't know if the emoji has a ton of shading, but let's just put some on anyway. And when I do the shading on the hand, I typically like to do some darker shading around this part, around the edge over here, okay? So do that, and you know what, just kind of smudge it out, just let it, let it absorb on the page, let it move around, let that shading kind of come to be. I think the other, other thing of what you want to do is, well, first of all, let's fix this over here. That's your pinky, that's your pinky over there. Um, the other thing you want to do is put that shading on um, some of those, those fingers, right? Those interior parts of the fingers. So um, you can do so by just kind of drawing somewhat of a curved positioning there. Actually, I want to fix up the pinky a little more. Just a little wider wouldn't hurt. So I'll just add some shading to some of those over there. Last thing is just add a little bit of shading down below, just around some of those edges over there. So we might also have some shading just to show some curvature there. So that's kind of it. That's this position. Uh, this is the Italian hand gesture of, hey, what the heck? Thank you for watching and have a great day.